If you sort the planets of our solar system according to size, Mercury comes in last place. With a diameter of 3,032 miles, the rocky planet is even smaller than some moons. However, this does not mean that the closest planet to the Sun in our superordinate group does not have fascinating characteristics and surface formations. Together with you, we'd like to take a look at nine breathtaking photos of Mercury that authentically show us the natural beauty of our galactic neighbor. As always, we hope you enjoy this exciting topic. Excited about the amazing discoveries and phenomena of space? Then subscribe to our channel to accompany us on our galactic journey through the universe. Show us with a thumbs up that our contributions keep you wanting more. Mercury, a short overview. Between the Sun and the Earth, there is a galactic distance of 9 million miles on average. As the innermost representative of the solar system, Mercury is much closer to our central host star. The average distance between Mercury and the Sun is just 36 million miles. This small spatial separation also means that Mercury is the fastest planet in our galactic neighborhood. While our blue home planet needs 365 days to completely orbit the Sun, Mercury succeeds in this endeavor in only 88 days. The terrestrial celestial body covers a distance of almost 30 miles in just one second. This again corresponds to a breathtaking speed of almost 107,400 miles per hour. The short distance between the Sun and the small planet also means that Mercury does not follow the same path over and over again. In fact, the gravitational pull of the Sun causes Mercury's orbit to shift a tiny bit with each orbit. This circumstance could seal the fate of the small celestial body in the future. The acting gravitational forces could cause the planet to be completely thrown out of its orbit in many millions of years. As a result of this, Mercury would either fall into the Sun or into the rotational orbits of Venus or our home planet. As Mercury approaches the Sun on its galactic journey at about 29 million miles, the surface of its day side has scorching hot temperatures of up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit. In stark contrast to this is the bone-chilling cold on the night side, which amounts to minus 279 degrees Fahrenheit. In addition to these extreme temperature differences, Mercury has practically no atmosphere which means that the sun's rays are not filtered. These circumstances ultimately lead to the fact that a manned Mercury mission is completely out of the question, according to our current state of research. Accordingly, scientists are relying primarily on unmanned spacecraft to take a closer look at our galactic neighbor. So far, however, only two space probes have ventured into the immediate vicinity of Mercury. Specifically, these were Mariner 10, which explored the planet almost 50 years ago, and Messenger. The NASA probe investigated the celestial body between the years 2011 and 2015, and Bepi Colombo is currently on its journey to Mercury now. The spacecraft, which was developed as part of a cooperation between the European ESA and the Japanese space agency JAXA, is expected to reach the small rocky planet in 2025. However, the images taken in the course of the Mercury missions already give us a detailed impression of the natural composition of the celestial body. In viewing the surface of Mercury, it becomes clear to us that the planet possesses some superficial similarities to our Earth moon. For example, the planet's exterior, which is riddled with craters and composed of rough, dark rock, reflects incoming sunlight only extremely weakly. The planet's marginal atmosphere also favors the incomparably high crater density on the planet's surface since not even the smallest galactic missiles burn up in it. What immediately catches our eye in view of the countless impact sites are the many ray-shaped structures in their immediate vicinity. In detail, these are the traces left on the planet's surface by the material whirled up by the collision. Similar ray systems are also found, meanwhile, on our Earth-Moon. Mina How the natural face of the planet is also changed by incoming projectiles becomes clear when we look at the fascinating impact crater called Mina. The bright ray system that adorns the nine-mile-wide collision site indicates that the corresponding impact occurred only recently. The rays, 
which are currently still bright and stand out clearly against the surrounding surface, will gradually fade over time. At its core, Mina is located in the so-called Beethoven Plain. That area is also graced by an imposing impact crater of the same name, which leaves us in amazement. Beethoven Crater So, the crater named after the world-famous composer Ludwig van Beethoven has an impressive diameter of about 391 miles. With these dimensions, the impact site is also the 11th largest known crater in the entire solar system. Visually, however, the Beethoven crater differs significantly from the comparable collision points. In contrast to many of its galactic counterparts, the crater does not have rings. According to current estimates, the impact site gapes up to 1.5 miles into the ground. Within the Beethoven crater, in turn, are several other galactic collision sites, including the approximately 87-mile-wide crater called Bello. Although Beethoven's impressive dimensions leave us in sheer awe, it is not, in fact, the largest crater on Mercury's surface. Caloris Planitia This title, in fact, goes to that impact basin christened Caloris Planitia. The diameter of this rugged plain is an amazing 963 miles. An asteroid with an intrinsic diameter of 90 miles probably created Caloris Planitia. The galactic collision took place in all probability 3.9 billion years ago. The current conjectures assume that the imposing missile dug deeply into Mercury's crust, exposing mantle rocks. The impact of the asteroid released thereby such great energy that even the opposite side of the planet was affected. The collision probably led to the breakup of a 310,000 square mile area of terrain, with imposing mountain ranges rising up to 5,900 feet. Rembrandt Crater The Rembrandt Crater is another testament to Mercury's eventful past. The area bearing the name of the famous Dutch artist, Rembrandt van Rijn, was formed an estimated 3.9 billion years ago. While the basin eluded the gaze of the Mariner spacecraft, Messenger identified the impressive structure in 2008. Just like Beethoven, Rembrandt Crater is also among the 10 largest known impact basins in the solar system, with a diameter of 444 miles. Roop's Discovery while some structures on Mercury's surface show striking similarities to comparable formations on other celestial bodies, there are also some formations on the planet's outer surface that we find exclusively on the smallest representative of our planetary system. Among them are some escarpments, sometimes extending hundreds of miles through the surface of Mercury and eaten up by craters. These formations are called roops in the technical world. Characteristically, these structures run in gentle paths through the craters and plains. The longest roops located on Mercury so far bear the simple name Roops Discovery. The corresponding step has a length of almost 250 miles. These unique objects are overthrusts of Mercury's crust. In all likelihood, the scarps were formed when the entire planet shrank a bit. Apollodorus before the impact crater Apollodorus received its official name, it was only called the Spider by experts. This name alludes to the countless long furrows near the impact basin, which are remotely reminiscent of spider legs. The area discovered by the Messenger spacecraft is located in the center of the so-called Pantheon Fossae, a large trench system in the interior of the Calaris Basin. At present, it is not known whether the 25-mile-wide Apollodorus crater played a crucial role in the formation of Pantheon Fossae, or whether the spatial location of the impact site is merely due to chance. Tolstoy Crater The Tolstoy Crater is composed of several impact basins. On the one hand, there are two interrupted ring structures, which have an approximate diameter of 221 and 317 miles, respectively. Finally, the area is completed by another incomplete ring with an estimated diameter of 290 miles. Although the event that caused the Tolstoy crater already lies many billion years back, the impact place possesses an amazingly well-preserved ejecta blanket. The term ejecta blanket, by the way, includes those deposits of ejecta material that settle around the impact site during a collision, 
the unusual, almost rectilinear arrangement of the ejecta blanket of Tolstoy Crater suggests some astonishing conjectures. Among other things, experts estimate that the ejecta pattern has a controlling influence on those structures that existed before the crater basin was formed. Hemingway Crater When we take a closer look at Hemingway Crater, we realize that the impact site appears much darker than its countless counterparts on Mercury's surface. This is due to the fact that the rock in the corresponding planetary region has a different mineralogical composition than the other surface structures in its vicinity. The impact basin, named after the famous U.S. writer Ernest Hemingway, has a diameter of a considerable 78 miles. Now it's your turn. What are your thoughts on the amazing images of Mercury's surface? Just write us your opinion, feedback, and suggestions about today's video in the comments. Finally, feel free to take a look at the other videos we have linked for you in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.